Hello and welcome back to Lisa Ann Can. I'm Lisa Ann Spencer. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. Uh, if you've stopped by, you must be interested in the title, which is Making Your Own Mayonnaise. Uh, a couple months back, I made a video on making homemade ranch dressing, which is so delicious. But in that video, of course, the recipe calls for mayonnaise which in the process of trying to avoid MSG, of course, you're going to be getting MSG in uh, purchase, most purchase mayonnaises. Now, I love blue plate mayonnaise. I've used it since I was a little girl and it's delicious. Um, but I do want to um, be able to make homemade mayonnaise for myself and for my children and you know feed them uh, more wholesome ingredients if possible i used to make mayonnaise all the time got out of the habit of doing it and you know it's so much easier just to pick up mayonnaise at the store so i don't have my glasses let me grab those i want to read you the ingredients of my favorite mayonnaise soybean oil which <clears throat> just for starters soybean oil is not the best choice in an oil to use. It's something that like our grandparents didn't consume because it wasn't a naturally available product. Most soybean oil is extracted chemically, so you're gonna have the chemical residues in there, plus very high in phytoestrogens, which may not be so bad for a woman my age, but it might not be something that you want to feed your children all the time. Uh, distilled vinegar, that's a good ingredient. <clears throat> Egg yolks, water, sugar, salt, calcium, disodium, EDTA, and it says to protect the quality, and then it always says natural flavor. So I'll include it in natural flavor, and you can go Google. It's really hard to pin down always what that is. It could be a variety of things, but very often it's hydrolyzed soy protein, or MSG, which gives it that addictive, meaty, salty flavor. So we can achieve that in other ways. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my recipe. And by the way, I've told you about this book before. It's um, called Nourishing Traditions. It's a wonderful nutrition book. I think um, worth a college education. It also has a lot of traditional recipes. So I start with the basic recipe from this cookbook and tweak it a little bit for myself and my family. So I got my recipe written here and I've gathered my ingredients. So you start with one whole egg and this is our farm eggs. So I know the quality uh, of those, which is really nice. If you can get farm fresh eggs from a local farm or raise them yourself. And I got eggshell in there, so I gotta get that out. And then one egg yolk. I separated out the white earlier and I'm gonna put the egg yolk in there. Next is going to be a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. I just used the Kroger brand. It's really good. Okay, next is lemon juice and vinegar. So I've just got a lemon, which you cannot see because my teapot's in the way. Uh, just one whole lemon and I have a tablespoon here, so I'm just going to squeeze a half a lemon and see how much juice that is. All right, so that ended up being almost a tablespoon, which I'm gonna put in there. And then I'm going to use some of the apple cider vinegar, the natural kind that has the mother in the bottom because it's got good enzymes. So almost a tablespoon. And then an optional ingredient is whey. So in another video in the future, I'll just show you how to make your own whey. But you start with regular yogurt and strain it, and the juice that comes out of that is called whey. And it has um, all those good active bacteria in there that makes the mayonnaise good for you. 
So I got about a teaspoon. You can put up to a tablespoon in there. Uh, I'm just, I'm using what I had. I did not have very much. So whey and a couple of other optional ingredients. I'm going to put a dash of the naturally brewed soy sauce, just a bit, and then a dash of the Thai fish sauce for saltiness and nutrition. Two dashes. And then sea salt. There we go. A pinch, a generous pinch. So that's going to be about a quarter of a teaspoon. All right. So what I'm going to do is move the camera over to my mixer and mix this up really, really well with my whisk. And from that point on, what I do is I take three quarter cup of vegetable oil and I'll show you that in just a minute. So let's go over here. Okay, so now that those basic ingredients are blended together, I have three quarter cups of oil. You can use up to a cup and you can do your own blend, whatever types of oil you like. I do like to use a little bit of extra virgin, but it has a very strong flavor, so only a couple of tablespoons of that. A little bit of light olive oil, maybe the other half, and then the remaining with a sunflower oil that has a very light taste to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my timer on my um, oven for five minutes and turn the blender on high, mixer on high, and slowly trickle the oil in there, and it should take the full five minutes to get it blended in, and while it's blending, it will emulsify. So I'll check back with you in just a minute. Done. It took a little bit more than five minutes, and you'll notice it's almost pourable, which is normal for homemade mayonnaise. I'm going to put it in this jar. It will thicken as it cools in the refrigerator. All right, that's it. There's the homemade mayonnaise, and you can see how yellow it is in comparison to store-bought, and that is because of the quality of the egg and the egg yolk. Um, so, it, as I said, it will uh, thicken up a bit as it sits in the refrigerator and chills. Um, it will keep for at least two weeks. This will not last two weeks, but because the whey has been added, that gives you a little bit more shelf stability for it, so it could even last up to four weeks if you use a full tablespoon of whey in your recipe. So anyway, uh, anyway, I'm going to go uh, use my homemade mayonnaise to make me a nice chicken salad for lunch. Why don't you drop me a comment below and tell me what's your favorite way of using mayonnaise. Give it a try. If you do, let me know and tell me how you like it. Until uh, next time, see you later.